Okay, my friends, welcome back. So, this turned out to be a disaster. It's way too heavy, way too much iron in there. And I think it would cause, because when I put it next, you can't see that, but when I put it next to the magnet, it, you know, obviously really catches it. So, and it came out disastrous because I made the walls too thin. Then I tried this. This was also a disaster. So these are going in the garbage. What I came up with is this. So this is just a prototype. I've got the better one printing out where I'll have more space in between the air part of the air iron core. And I'm going to fill this up with the low carbon shot or BBs, no, shot, uh, that, that one commenter told me to try, which I really like that idea. Um, and so with this, I will have the benefit of an air core, but also some iron, which should increase the voltage gain when I use it as a pickup coil. And of course, it fits inside there nicely but again this is just a prototype um, the one that i'm printing out now has a little bit larger gap so i could fit just a little bit more bb's it's also taller um, but yeah this will be a much better idea because these guys are just way too much i mean that's too too heavy it doesn't even fit i think i made this one for this coil, it barely fits in there. Um, I think it fitted on this side. Yeah, it fits in there, but I've got to, it's just too much. It's just way too much. And again, I want the benefit of an air coil so I don't have too much drag on the, on the rotor, but I also want to have the benefit of it being an iron core so I think the amount of iron that'll be in this will be the equivalent of my iron PLA core. So yeah, I think that'll work. And I, I'm printing out two of these, one for the sky coil and one for my coil. Um, this one, this was the prototype for the sky coil. My coil is a little bit shorter by a few millimeters and I think one of them I'm going to fill with shot the other one I'm going to fill with um, I think it was G-Law that told me to use what was it called use like the air gun pins or whatever they're called the things that you use in a pin nailer they're almost completely straight they're thin. I can fit them in here and they would be pointing upward. And I think that'll make for a good, oops, that'll make for a good core. I'm also, I also uh, took a suggestion from G-Law and I got myself a motor with a foot pedal. So this is just a basic motor and a basic foot pedal for a sewing machine. I think it's like 12 volts. And I'm going to use that and I'm going to build a coil winding machine with it. You know, I'm not going to put a device that makes the wire go back and forth. I'll just do that manually. But I'll be able to control it much better because I can use two hands, so to speak, and then the foot pedal. And I think the foot pedal is like a potentiometer where the more I press it, the faster it goes, yada, yada, yada. So I'm waiting for the first final version of this to print out. I'll take the shot that I have. I got a nice big bag of it that I used. It's called Precision Reload. That's the name of the company. It's Steel Shot. And apparently it's low carbon, which is supposed to make a difference. I'm not 
sure that I know why. I suppose I can look it up. But this is my channel. We're not interested in measurements and calculations and any of that stuff. We just build and go, baby. Um, anyway, yeah. So garbage, and that's where it goes. In the garbage. Garbage. That's where it... Oh, actually, you know what? I could probably cut... No, in the garbage. And this will be the new one. And again, it'll be taller... It'll have a little bit thinner walls, but not paper thin like the last one. It'll be, yeah, it'll definitely be cool. And I think I spaced the air core portions of it. I think I spaced them out better in the redesign. Anyway, stay tuned. Yeah, so this is what I was talking about for the pin nail. And I think for this prototype, I may even play with it because it does fit in the sky coil. I may put these in there like that because basically I, I i don't even have to take them apart and just put several of them in like this oops put several of them in like this until they get tight like that i'd have to break them down so you know and then put some on this side Like that. I think three works. And then break them down, put them in there, put them in, oops, sorry, put them in there, put them in there like that, just to see how this thing would play out. These particular are coated uh, with something, I'm not really sure, but they are magnetic. They are a ferrite material. They're magnetic. So, yeah, maybe I'll try that with this one. I have to see if I have bigger ones. These are... What is this? This is number 23. 23 gauge. I don't know how... Oh, it's, oh they're one inch. And for the prototype, I think that'll work out just fine. So let me see what I can do with this. Stay tuned. All right, so I've got the pin nails in there. And it's got a little bit of weight, but not too bad. So I think it's going to work out really great. And I know this probably doesn't make a whole lot of difference, but there is a pointed side and a dull side to a pin nail, even though they look completely straight. Um, so I put the pointed side facing up or facing in this direction um just because it looks better if i had mixed it up you would see some shiny areas anyway here's the the actual coil i'm going to use for for my coil i mean the actual core and it fits nicely inside here like that and so now i'm going to fill this guy up with uh, with the shot and then i'm going to pour resin in both of these um, and try not to make a freaking mess out of everything so stay tuned once i get the bb's in there and i poured the resin i'll show you what it looks like freaking bb's were harder to get in there than i thought but i got them in there i used um, a little cup so now i've got the pins and the bb's and I think they weigh about the same, even though, yeah, no, they're the same height, 30 millimeters. Um, yeah, ironically, I have to use a popsicle stick to kind of spread them out because this guy's magnetized. And I have one of those demagnetizers, and it's basically just rubbing it against two poles at the same time. At least that's what I think it is. Where is it? Yeah, here it is. So you got this demagnetizer. Yeah, see? I think you have to just run it. It doesn't really work. Actually, it made it more, more magnetic.
Yeah, it does work a little bit. Not by much. Anyway, um, I'm, maybe I'm doing it wrong. But anyway, on to the main part of why I'm doing this. So here, now I'm going to pour the resin in, which is going to be really tricky. I mean, I can get a fine stream, but it's still going to be tricky. Because this stuff is in there pretty tight. There's not a lot of air or space for the resin to go so i'll have to pour it really slowly and take my time all right let me get to it all right so believe it or not i'm using this big syringe and it works because as i slowly push it when i get to a place where i want to stop i just pull back on the syringe and it immediately stops it so I've got it leveled out, hopefully, in both directions. But yeah, the syringe is working surprisingly well. I thought maybe it would be too thick because it is cold out here in the garage and the resin is quite thick right now. But yeah, let me keep going. Yeah, so there's no way I could have done this without the syringe. Or the plunger. Yeah, no, the syringe. Big old fat one. I got it for when I do certain types of glue-ups. I knew it was going to come in handy for other stuff, though. And then I just hit the top of the flame. And that kind of glasses it over. It helps with it the air bubbles. Which I'm getting a lot popping up from the uh, shot one. But that's all right. As the air comes up, the resin goes down. And we shall see what we shall see. Oh, boy. All right, stay tuned. Yep, so I think that's it. I've, this one is still bubbling a little bit, but I think they're now at their level. Especially the red one here. It has the um, pin nails in it. I don't think it's going to take any more resin. And I don't even think it needs any more, even if it could take some. And I think the same goes for the one with the shot. I think they're okay. We just got to let it dry now. And this weather is not good for resin. I can tell you that. Anyway. All right. Ciao.